Well, hello. Here I am in my tropical paradise. Not, I'm in my yard full of weeds. So, anyway, I'm going to talk about the parable of the weeds. Like I said I was going to. It is very windy today and it's changing my pages. So, anyway, it is Matthew. Ah! And I'm dropping my phone. This is like take 20. You ever had one of those days? Oh my. Yeah, it's one of those, um, a little bit of one of those days. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, for, for this day. So, here's the parable of the weeds, and I'm going to try to get through it this time. It is Matthew 13, starting in verse 24, and it's the parable of the weeds. And I'm sitting here with my white pants. I have no idea why I'm sitting outside in the dirt in white pants, but I am. And so, here it is. He put another parable before them, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be compared to a man who sowed seed in his field. But while his men were sleeping, the enemy came and sowed seeds among the wheat and went away. So when the plants came up and bore grain, and then the weeds appeared also, and the servants of the master of the house came and said to him, Master, did you not sow seed, good seed, in your field? How? How then does it have weeds? And he said to them, An enemy has done this. So the servants said to him, Then do you want us to go and gather them? But he said, No, lest in gathering the weeds you root up the wheat along with them. Let both grow together until the harvest. And at the harvest time I will tell the reapers, Gather the weeds first and bind them in bundles to be burned, but gather the wheat into my barn. So, as, as it is normal in, in parables in the Bible, there's, when the disciples were alone with, with Jesus, they would ask him, uh, what would you please explain this to us? What what did you mean by this parable? Which is great for people like me, because then it explains it. And so here is in Matthew thirteen verse thirty six is the parable of the weeds explained. And then he left the crowds and went into the house, and his, and his disciples came to him saying. Explain to us the parable of the weeds of the field. And he answered, The one who sows the good seed is the son of man. The field is the world. And the good seed is the sons of the kingdom. And the weeds are the sons of the evil one. And the enemy who sowed them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the age, and the reapers are angels. Just as the weeds are gathered and burned with fire, so it will be at the end of the age. The Son of Man will send his angels, and they will gather out of his kingdom all causes of sin and all lawbreakers, and throw them into the fiery furnace. In that place there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth, and then the righteous will shine like the sun, in the kingdom of their father. He who has ears, let him hear. And I'm just going to let that one speak for itself. Um, we do all have a choice. We have a choice whether to, to follow Jesus and then he helps us do the right things or if we're going to be the lawbreakers and the evil. Just look around. You can see evil and you can see good things happening. So I just felt like I was supposed to read that for some reason. So just love you all. Have a good day.